Today is the first episode of Mid Read Review, where I read halfway through the book or wherever I want to stop and review a book because I get bored really easily and want to just talk about it. Today's book is The Miseducation of Cameron Post by Emily M. Danford. This book caught my eye um, on Amazon.com. Um, I was looking for things to put in my wish list, which coincidentally never actually gets emptied ever. So, links below! I'm kidding. Um, it is a story about a, a teenager who is gay, or finds out that she's gay, and like her trials and tribulations. So. What caught my eye about this book was the, um, the description below. Um, for some reason, I don't know why, but it made me cry. So I figured I would read it to you and make you cry too. It probably won't. I'm just really emotional about weird things. So here it is. Uh, when Cameron Post's parents die suddenly in a car crash, her shocking first thought is relief. Relief will never know that hours earlier she had been kissing a girl. But that relief doesn't last and Cam is soon forced to move in with her conservative Aunt Ruth and her well-intentioned but hopelessly old-fashioned grandmother. She knows that from this point on, her life will forever be different. Survival in Miles City, Montana means blending in and leaving well enough alone. As her grandmother might say, and Cam becomes an expert at both. Then, Coley Taylor moves into town. Beautiful, pickup driving Coley is a perfect cowgirl with a perfect boyfriend to match. She and Cam forge an unexpected and intense friendship, one that seems to leave room for something more to emerge. But just as that starts to seem like a real possibility, ultra-religious Aunt Ruth takes drastic actions to fix her niece, bringing Cam face to face with the coast of denying her, her true self, even if that's not exactly sure who that is. Yeah, what mostly I think got to me was the, like, the religious aspect, because I thought I knew that this book was going to take a turn toward the end um, and most likely be sent to a... Cam would most likely be sent to a, like, religious gay camp type thing. So I knew this was going to be like an emotional roller coaster. My thoughts in the book beforehand was, you know, a love story, you know, there's going to be just her like falling in love with one girl and then, you know, her parents dying and her world changing. So she ends up falling for another girl and like her like overwhelming love for this, like their love story type thing. So <clears throat> that's what I was expecting when, when purchasing this book. Um, I also expected, you know, that there to be like big reper repercussions as far as like the parents' reaction uh, or her aunt's reaction. Um, so I expected that and that's kind of what I wanted to read about. So this book is great through the 50% mark. After the 50% mark, I just became angry at it because that's about the time where she gets sent to camp. Um, I'm like at 60% right now, and I'm wavering on whether I'm going to finish or not, so I really don't know how it ends. Hopefully, hopefully it has a good ending, I really hope. Um, I'm not really sure if I'm going to finish it. Maybe. Um, if you are a gay, lesbian, bi, LGBT youth, um, I would recommend this book only if you are comfortable with your sexuality, I guess would be the word. It's really hard for me to read a book that's um, not gay positive. And I imagine when if I was not out or not comfortable with my sexuality, it would be hard too. But if you want to challenge yourself, go ahead. Um, the first 50% of the book is very happy, or mildly. And it'll also teach you not to mess with straight girls. This, that's just a, that should be the overall theme of this video. Don't date, date straight girls. It's just no good can come of it. So if you want to like learn life lesson, read it. At least the first 50%. <laughs> I, I like really don't, I'm like regretting reading any more of it because I just like don't want to get mad anymore. I'm just like, I don't want to read you, but I do. I just want to get to the happy ending. Um, so that's my video for today, guys. Um, thanks for watching. I will be continuing to make these videos um, as I read books, hopefully. Um, I started a goal. Woohoo, goal. Um, it's kind of like a New Year's resolution, but 
it's obviously December, um, to read 50 books by December 31st, 2013. And I figured I might as well start, start on it, you know? Why wait when I'm motivated right now? So I'll see you guys later. Bye. Really? No, don't say so. Restart! Are fucking up. Okay. <clears> Hola! <throat> no, don't do that. Today is the first episode of. What the fuck is it called? I don't remember. Damn it! Be sure it's. Button wrong! Just restart this whole thing. Hi guys! So the, today. The, 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 uh, mm. the, 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 ah! I'm not gonna be able to say this. <laughs> step slightly over. I'm off my mark. Today is the first episode of Mid Read Review where I fuck up every fucking time. Good God. That seems to leave room for something more to emerge. Is going to be um, the mid, nope. There's too many M's and R's in this, this script. Let's try it. Let's try the whole line again. Just, just start from the stop. Start from the stop. Exactly where I should start. Okay. It's hot. Okay. This tree is smoking. Not my answer. 